Yes, sir. Y'all already know who it is. Y'all know where we yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, I just forgot some shit. That's why I started to laugh. It's your boy MP here as always. And thank you for tuning in to another wonderful, exciting episode of Live from the Couch Podcast. And guess what, guys? This is season three. I don't know. Y'all been waiting. Y'all know y'all been ready. I don't know what this accent do, but it sounds very, very, very cool. <laughs> Of course, I would say I got my man to the right, but I don't today. He's out of town having fun. I hope so. And be safe. But to the right, I have our guest for this wonderful, wonderful episode. Miss. I was going to say the name. I'm going to just mess with y'all. Miss Angelique Bates, y'all. Give it up for Miss Angelique. Wait, we don't even have a crowd. So what the fuck is that? I'm the crowd. I'll clap for myself. Clap for us, yeah. We're going to clap for ourselves, man. Clap for ourselves. And of course, I got the lady of the couch as always. Candace Outlandish here. Jesus Christ, you love that camera, don't you, girl? For the people. For the people, okay. As always, make sure you all follow us on Instagram at LFTC Podcast. Um, that's LFTC Podcast on Instagram mm-hmm. and on Twitter, LFTC mm-hmm. underscore podcast. And if you are listening to us for the first time, viewing us for the first time, make sure you all on any app device that you use on your phone, iOS or Android, that is the software, no, yeah, that's the software for each one of those phones. We on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, mm-hmm. and Spotify. Bye. So make sure y'all subscribe, guys. So without further ado, I like to let Miss. Wait, wait. Should I give you an intro? Or you want to do your own introduction? I mean, I like the way you was doing. You like okay? I was. <laughs> I like all right. I'm gonna spill it. So I would like to introduce a Miss, a good friend of mine. Y'all probably seen her in many of your favorite favorite shows as a young person. You know what I'm saying? Probably your favorite favorite show on Nickelodeon. And making y'all laugh since y'all didn't know how to tie your damn shoe. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't any, 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 you know any. I don't know. I don't like sprucing up you because so like you know what I'm saying. I, I like it. I you like it? Okay, like it. okay, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Been doing you this for doing over, good. over doing twenty plus good. years of vetting the game. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say her name. Again, Miss Angelique Bakes, y'all. So you want to uh, give it up, give it up, give it up. Yeah, give it, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Welcome, for welcome. Thank Thanks for joining coming. us on the couch. Well, thank you for having me. Always. As you know, ain't enough limits on this couch. For sure. So, you know what I'm saying? Are your toes clipped? Yeah. I, okay. I, I didn't remember like that. Wait, did I? <laughs> I just clipped mine because I'm going to go get them done. So You are? Right. I like to pre... I don't know. I like to pre-do my nails or my feet before I go get them done. Just, oh, so you, you, you... I don't do so them. So you ask like, for half them. off because you already did Nah, that nah, nah. I just like <laughs> shape them how I want because I, I don't like to give too much instructions. Right. Oh, women so, never like to really give too much instructions. No, a lot of times they do. Yeah, I, especially at the nail that. salon. <laughs> the oh, yeah. oh, oh, especially okay. at the nail salon. Ooh, they be like, um, gonna... <laughs> no, can you? You feel <laughs> This nail. Oh, shut. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, about our wonderful guest today. So give us a rundown for the people who don't know. Okay, well, like he said, um, Nickelodeon. I was no, on the show. I didn't say that. Oh. Most people didn't have cable back then. You so said Nick. No, you, yeah. mean, you did say Nickelodeon. I did say Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah. you did. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> Just like a nigga forgetting it. And what show? <laughs> <laughs> um, all that. So a lot of people remember me from that. I did a 35 and Ticking with Kevin Hart, mm-hmm. uh, Mike Epps, Linnell. Done a lot of stand-up comedy. Um, I had my own podcast show called oh, The so Evening Show. Oh, so you're a comedian. Yeah, you are a little funny. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm that. here. I'm next to two comedians here, so oh, yeah, we got I feel this. honored. You feel honored to be yeah. next to two comedians? Yeah. I mean, what is what are you... No, what? That's a compliment. Yeah, okay. take it. I'm, I'm, just, take, I'm taking it. Yeah, I'm he's the worst. What you trying to say? What you trying to be real? Keep it a hundred with me. I, I just to, did. Say it to my face. Don't say it to my I, side. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Well, okay. I'll Why? take his compliment. Yeah, okay. you take it. He don't, I'll take it. Wait, back I didn't know me. you was doing stand up out here. You? Yeah. Well, I mean, I I was doing it for a while, and then I kind of retired. So you know. Why oh, okay. Well, you know, there was this one time. <laughs> oh, if you don't want to say it, I'll be respectful. No, 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 I'll be, you know, probably some people out there need to hear it because a lot of people think that it's easy when it's not. Oh, it definitely is not easy. And, uh, Hell the fuck. I've Honestly, always I- thought it looked, it seems so hard and I don't see how y'all do it. Stand up oh, you know, I'll specifically. Let you get your spiel first, because it's a, get your spiel first. Well, it, I'll make it short. Uh, you know, I, I've been doing stand up since I was probably oh like fourteen, probably a little bit younger. I was one of uh, the first youngest uh, African American paid females at the Laugh Factory. I was in uh, Damon Wayne's boot camp. 
Mm. Nice. And Jay Moore was uh, Jay Moore and Dave Chappelle were both my mentors. Oh, so shit, she got that heat. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I started out young, and I probably I was going hard to probably like twenty twenty one, and then Ooh. puberty. But puberty had already started kicking in. But mm-hmm. I was going from that phase of a kid. To a young woman yeah. So you're going in between Like the dress code And you want to You know uh, look pretty So right, right. you know In stand up either You're going to be The little kid Or you're going to be The sexy right. vixen right, right. There ain't no ain't in no between You know what I'm saying uh-huh. So when I became legal A lot of the comedians <laughs> I'm not going to put No names out there But it was a lot of Behind the scenes But I was at a stage Where it's like I'm getting all this attention mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I got a little cocky Because I, I'm funny You know right, what I'm saying right. And I remember It was this one I think it was uh, Comic View and they were having auditions at one of the places. And I was just like, oh, I got this. Never had bombed a day in my life. Damn. Was a little bit too cocky. I felt myself getting ready to bomb and mm-hmm. literally caught myself right before I hit the floor. But I never liked that feeling. When you are looking at everybody in that room and they're just all sitting there. Ain't nobody yeah. making a nobody goddamn sound. Crack, no crack, no laugh. That has to be the worst. They That's looking at you be. like, man, she got some shit on the, face. Right, right. Mm-hmm. the right. It was the worst feeling ever. And I mean, I brought myself back up, but yeah. I never really touched the stage after that. Mm. Ooh, damn. Never. I mean, people have tried to get me to, but it's, right. n- it's not the same love. You know? Yeah. I always, funny, well, <laughs> I, did not, I didn't go as... Deep into the comedy as you did, because mm-hmm. I honestly just started doing stand up randomly in college. Uh, my friends just asked, because yeah, my organization on co- uh, in, at school, we was doing a comedy show, and they was like, "Hey, you want to do some stand up?" I'm like, "All right, fuck it," because they was like, "We just need comics," and mm-hmm. so I just did it, just talk shit. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I didn't get a loud laugh, but I didn't get no boo. So I said, I ain't nobody boo me. Fuck it, I just keep doing this. <laughs> That's real. And the funny thing is, is I uh, so after that one. We did another one mm-hmm. and like motherfuckers thought I was funny again. It wasn't a crazy laugh, but I didn't get no boo. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck, cause I like, <laughs> to keep you in the game. I think what got me was my, my I think my opening joke was all future baby mamas give yourselves a hand and motherfuckers clap. And <laughs> that shit was funny as hell. And I read Future baby <laughs> mama. <laughs> and so I was like, damn, this shit kinda this shit kinda smoking, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if you feel it, it's like I have a predetermined type of Reaction I want Then mm-hmm. I'm like Yeah this is This is killing You know what I'm saying oh, yeah. And cause it's funny Like I'll be watching Other comics And like They'll be funny But I don't I don't give the reaction That I think I will want for a joke Where mm-hmm. it's like Damn that's a good laugh But I'll be wanting yeah. to fucking, Damn nigga you funny as <laughs> Like, Everybody want I, that cackle Or that yeah, like Hell no like, Yeah like right. if I don't hear that I'm like I ain't doing good But yeah. it's like As long as motherfuckers Laughing you doing good And shit yeah. like that and like shit, I even open up because we had a spring show, and I opened up for our spring show. And this is like literally, this shit was happening to me. Just like motherfucker was just asking me to do it. Um, I think it was Lil Duval, Gary Owens. They was they, we had they was performing the comedy show, the spring show, and the guy that was hosting it asked me to open up for him. And I'm so naive to this shit. I'm like, all mm-hmm. right, and I'm not seeing, not thinking about what the fuck I'm doing. Right. And it was in our gymnasium, so I'm and our gyms fit damn near like. Two, three thousand people or some shit like that. Yes. So like literally when I went up there, I stood there like, damn, that's what motherfuckers be on. I said, at the end of the day, I'm like, as long as I I was like, at the end of the day, if I suck, I just give up. So it was like, just go up there and do some shit. So um I so like when I and I think it's no one booed. Mm-hmm. I ain't get a crazy laugh, right. but no one booed. Nobody so, booed. So when I moved out here, I started doing like the only reason I did stand up out here. Was just because I wanted to talk shit. Like when me with stand up, it was to talk shit without people really. I guess what's it? What they like to say, judging. So it's yeah. like I really want to talk shit about you, but I'm gonna do it as a comment because then I can get away with you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But now you know that's. Oh yeah, everything becoming is a, harder. Oh yeah, oh, yeah right. Everything sensitive. is sensitive as hell. It's like, oh my god, you you talk what? about oranges. What about apples? Right. What what, what about <laughs> Jamba fruit? You, you know, must like, hate it. Like, wait, <laughs> you don't put ketchup on your burgers? Is the, like, wait, so what is mustard not illegal now? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, are you it be, about? it becomes very um, divisive mm-hmm. a lot of the time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a weird space for comedy. Yeah, but know. people are still making it. Mm-hmm. But um, I just feel like it's just, it makes it, now comedians just have to be more clever, I guess, to move around all of these um, political correct- correctedness <clears throat> that we have to do. But I think the political correctedness is also, you know, there's a, there's a such thing as, as too much of anything. Right. You know, and it's like live and let live. My thing it's is, coming is, to the point where it's like, 
nobody can live because everybody has to be the funny somebody's thing is, gonna get hurt no matter what and the conversation point, is. The funny thing is is people don't realize the hypocrisy of our what we laugh at and don't laugh at. Right. Mm-hmm. It's because the thing that we ridicule someone about, oh no, don't do that. We laugh at something that someone else can ridicule. So the the the, the, the thin line of playing it safe to protect everybody is at the end of the day, you can't. Right. The only funny thing with me, what I get from comedy is truth speaking. And like, if it's funny to you, if it's not funny to you, then maybe we should do something about it where it's not a negative thing. Right. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's, okay. that's like... Unless that's, it's an actual negative thing, which is something entirely different. Right. That's true. <laughs> because I mean, we've I've, I've heard comedians and like, okay, you're racist, mm-hmm. essentially. Or even just not funny ones. And I'm just like, okay, you're not funny, but somebody thinks they're funny. Mm. Or like that but one comedian. Like, it, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to say, well, that one comedian that did the Kobe joke oh, that got... Oh, he, he got ate guy. up. But he see, got ate that, up. He got I, dropped. But, see, the thing is, with him, I don't think it was a joke. Like, it's a certain, a time and a, spe- a, time and a place uh-huh. and a way you deliver with who also and who his your character And sounded is. very I think he meant hateful. it. No, it was to be hurt. It was mean. It was hurtful. Like, <laughs> it was like, it was like very, yeah, very, he very negative. He tweeted it. What was his name? Uh, I don't know. It's the way I don't know yeah. his fucking name. He got like, dropped by everybody. He lost his specials. The agency. It's almost like you must have wanted to yeah. get and what fired. I heard was like, why he would you was ever all, say anything? Like but the that. thing is, what I heard, he was already a shitty person, and that's what. And that was always the thing. That's the one thing with me when it comes to comedians is like, a lot of times comedians, for the most part, are who they are, mm. and that's what draws people to them in their comedy. For the most part, for, for most comedians, you know, there's different things, but. Right. When it comes, like, if you really portray, like, you can only bullshit, bullshit for so long before right. it's caught. So if you really give off that asshole type of personality, asshole persona, when it comes to certain time and certain things uh, or your jokes, motherfuckers going to be like, call you out for your bullshit. Yeah. So. No, you're absolutely right. Because that's one thing that they kept on saying. They were like, yeah, he's he's a jerk. And they were saying that a lot of his jokes quote, quote, jokes is out his excuse. Oh, it's just a joke. But he did stuff like that. And that just shows your personality. Yeah. Like you said. And it's like I say, it's a time and a place for certain jokes to come out. And, and that was like, <laughs> especially, and then you got to look at the context of who you are, uh, uh, where you're saying it, like mm-hmm. who you're saying it about, like right. so many eyes is looking at you and with different percep- perceptions of things. It's like, come on, man. But damn, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. According to Google, his name is Ari Shafir. Oh, yeah, you know, him. he's like, yeah, it, it qualifies as dark comedy. Um, but, yeah, it was dark, all right. Right. Because <laughs> I only heard, because he tweeted it, right? Yeah, I believe he tweeted and it. So, I, I saw that the, the backlash of it. Yeah, and, I saw the backlash yeah. and people rehashing what he said. Mm-hmm. I never read the actual tweets. I, but, like, I didn't mean it like that. It was just, you know, I do jokes. And I'm like... But you mm-hmm. said a whole lot of... Right. Yeah, you got to know who you are and what you're making a joke about. Like, right. and again, the timing, like... Timing's terrible. And that's that the go-to. That's a go-to now. Like, people are saying anything, and they're like, oh, but no, it was just a joke. <laughs> and the funny thing is, and then people are like, oh, it's a joke, but like, motherfuckers know if you make jokes. The same ones that say, oh, it's a joke, joke are the right. same ones that be like, no, you can't say that. Right. <laughs> you can't say that. That's the ironic part. Or like, they'd be like, no, I'm not racist. I actually have that. W- I have a black friend, oh, a colored man. friend. I have a colored friend. And those are the same <laughs> ones that'd be like, oh, it's you, just a joke. You know, it's, I hate when people say that because it's damn near like companies like, oh, no, like diversity. It's the same thing. It's like, no, don't. If you yes. don't, you ain't got to tell me how many <laughs> friends you got of another, like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, you meeting a quota? I got three. Right. You're meeting a quota. Hey, hey, I, I got, got three. I'm years. good. You know what I'm saying? If I have five, I got to be one of the black brothers. I huh? get my you black know? card. I get so, right. invited to the barbecue. If um, I have five friends. I did want to ask you so, on all of that, because, mm-hmm. so I have a story and it's a story. So, okay. um, he put air quotes around that. No, I put air quotes because, <laughs> so, Right. You know Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, the one was, who created the show? No, not Brian Roberts. Oh. You know what's funny? He directed my movie. <laughs> really? He directed Harbaugh. Wow. Right. No, because him and yeah, Brian Robbins and Mike Tolan. Yeah. So they had, yeah. So I think Mike Tolan was Tolan Robbins. Producer. Tolan Robbins yeah. Productions. Yeah. So they directed Harbaugh and they created wow. the show. And the funny thing about that is so no, so I don't know what season it was. Let me see. Oh one, because you all started like mid nineties, right? So I yeah. think it was like fourth or fifth season. Okay. It was said that uh, Brian Robbins, because um, after we did the movie, mm-hmm. uh, uh, 
Brian. Okay, no, the Brian I was talking about was Brian Hearn. Oh, like, commodity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he was the uh, insider. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, he did. He was the uh, the Jamaican taxi driver. Yes. And yes. so supposedly, I heard rumors. This was like that. I was like up for that role per se, or what? to be in it, but I don't. I, this is what I heard or so like that. Right, right. So I don't. I forgot why I heard it. And that would have been crazy. But it was like no. I thought about it because like I, I, I'm like oh I'm mad I can't fucking remember so like that because like I don't because like honestly on set when we was filming like mm-hmm. I was really just a joke fucking like I right. really didn't take I was honestly I didn't even know I was filming a fucking movie for real, for real. I was like <laughs> it was damn, just well, play it was just for playing shit like that so if it was true we damn near could have worked together on fucking all that that, that would have been, been funny dope. wild as hell but as far as like all that like. What? Cause like no, I used to watch the shit at that show. Like that was that was my shit. That, that was my shit. Like, well, thank you for the ratings. Oh no, definitely. <laughs> like, cause like we used to get illegal. Ca- I used to get illegal cable to watch. Nick oh, when it used to flicker and all yeah, that. Yeah, so I used to cause like it was like all that. It was uh, it was the arcade show with the black dude with the host that you had to guess that had a uh, Bill Moore. You, but what's with the name? Figure of the it game? out. Oh. Fi- Oh, no, it was an arcade. Nick show. Arcade. Nick Arcade. Yeah. yeah. So like, so I used to watch that whole little block. The uh, even the show with what's that name? Summer Sanders. Summer Sanders. Yeah. yeah. I, like I used to watch that Did whole. Did you watch Gola Gola Island? Of oh, course. Yeah, Gola yeah. Gola Island. Oh, that was the whole block. You too. Like that. They were a classic. Um, man. To you, yeah. What did it feel like working on all that at that time? Like, like. Well, oh wow. Well, like because like being a young funny person, yeah. that's like a tough thing. I honestly believe because it's like. Yeah, to balance I it out. I wanted to be. I wanted to be on all that so I wanted really? to be on all of the shows. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to be on every single Nickelodeon show. Wow. But. Yeah. Well, Nickelodeon. Okay, so I'm like aging the heck out of myself. But like when we got on, cable was just popping. Yeah. We, like I think it was Melissa. Ex- yeah, no, Clarissa, Clarissa, Clarissa explains, explains it all. It all. Yeah, no, yes. Okay. Yeah, no, well, no, was it Clarissa? Clarissa. Her Clarissa. name no, is Melissa. It's Clarissa. No, it was Clarissa, Clarissa yeah. explains yeah. it all. Yep. Okay, so Clarissa explains it all. That was the that was their number one show. I used mm-hmm. to love that right. show. So then we came in and it was Gola Gola Island. And I think it was my brother and me. Mm-hmm. Those, so, were the, those were the those were the pioneers. Yeah. Oh, you know, that was really, damn. Okay. Right. Okay, so okay. we were like the OGs. We were just coming in. We didn't know anything about cable or mm-hmm. anything. Right. And uh, for a lot of us, that was our major project. Now for Keenan. Uh, Keenan had came from Mighty Duck. Yeah. So he right, was the right, one right. that was like, a you know. And, uh, yeah. Because I know he did Mighty Ducks in that other And that he did, other movie. um. It was the. Uh, heavyweights. Yes, heavyweights. So yeah, he kind of already had had his foot in. Some of us, you know, our projects weren't as big. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so for us, it was just like, oh my God, he we're here. He was a star. Yeah, he, that, <laughs> yeah, because it was originally, I think it's seven in all. I have to, I would have to recount, but I think it's seven of us total. Mm-hmm. Don't quote me. And I remember that they added two. So I think if it was seven of us, it was originally five. It's about seven of us. I think I should, yeah. I should know this. But yeah, so it was originally five of us. And I think Keenan was one of the ones that was added on. That was added. So just imagine. Why, so y'all was the selected group already. Yeah, we was five. Added, oh. They added Keenan. And I want to say, I don't remember if Elisa was added on, but it was, it was, it was between, it was between Kel, Josh, and Elisa. So they were one of the other two that got added on. So imagine if those two, like it just would have changed. No Keenan and Kale. No Keenan wow. and Kale. No That's Good Burger. Crazy. Wow. Just see how that would have changed the whole dynamic of that. Yeah. And then just think about Saturday Night Live because mm-hmm. Saturday Night Live probably mm-hmm. came from, you know, the concept yeah. of that. So um, it was just like a playground. We were at Universal Studios. That was our backyard. Mm-hmm. Like when we were do- going to school and it was time to like go to lunch, it was like we went to Universal Studios. Studios. <laughs> you know, like that was yeah. it. And then you're at Nickelodeon, and then we had the, the On sunset. No, see, I was in Florida. Oh. We originally filmed mm. in Florida. The original, original right? Right? Because oh. that used to be the intro. With the, uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Because I was thinking yeah. uh, old Nick Studio on Sunset. That was after mm-hmm. that they was after, came. Okay. They came out uh, to California, and that's actually the one in in Orlando is when we did the time capsule. That's the one they keep on posting all yeah, over social media. Uh, 20, yeah. yeah. Is it twenty forty? I, I want to say it's 2042 or something. Yeah, yeah I, I was there when they did that. So it's That's a lot of so... cool stuff in there. And I forgot about that capsule. <laughs> like, <laughs> Until you saw the thing. I'm yeah. like, oh my goodness. I was like, oh, that was really legit. Like y'all was really yeah. saving this to this year. Like I thought it was just something we did. I thought they threw it away when they, you know, destroyed mm-hmm. the old Nickelodeon. I'm like, oh, y'all really for real about this. Damn, That's 2040. So... We got 22 shit. Right. We're going to be old. That's you right. going to be old shit. <laughs> I'm going to be I'm older than both of y'all. Like, I'm, I'm young forever young. I hear that. Yeah, I'm young and kicking out here. Okay, <laughs> damn, that's cool. That's cool. No, like, 
always well when we did the uh, uh, show like I say it's like mm-hmm. when especially coming in at a young age in entertainment and yeah. like it being big like popping you never like, know that shit is wild as hell and then to be like the show like everybody Yo. was like trying to be like and we had it. no idea we had no idea even that our afterwards show. like how we long didn't... afterwards did y'all realize like okay like we was really like popping like y'all had all the stars on y'all's show y'all had 702 y'all had Julio y'all had wait, y'all Aaliyah had Julio? y'all had Aaliyah yeah. y'all just like everybody y'all literally had like everybody on we had on Usher show. we had mm-hmm. So For Real mm-hmm. I mean those was I remember that episode yeah oh I had the oh, biggest time. crush on <laughs> <laughs> I had Who the did? biggest crush on Jason yeah, you bringing the girl back yeah. to the <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> and I remember oh I just knew I was gonna marry Usher and then my mama straight blocked on that one <laughs> I was like hey wanna go to the uh, the kitchen we got slime we got boogers <laughs> we got <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How many girls would say they had boogers and slime with Usher? With Usher, none. Wow. So, <laughs> hey, low key, motherfuckers will fight your ass to this day, probably right? with that shit. <laughs> show me, yeah, show me, show, show me, me that. Show when, me. When did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like we had so much. We had no idea though. We didn't realize to answer your question until social media kicked in. I remember it was Twitter. Uh, Instagram wasn't even around yet, and I remember. I think it must have been our anniversary, our first anniversary, because the fans, they be knowing that. We were just like, they were just like, it's a, it couldn't have been the 10 year. It was something. And they were just like, oh my God, it's your anniversary. And we're like, what? Twitter started in 09. So that might, it might have, have been. been 15 or so. Like I, I think it was. Like I think it was our, our 15 year anniversary. Whatever it was, they knew. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody had, I guess, for the most part, forgotten about us. And so, you know, anytime they air something or they show something, all of a sudden, everybody wants to do what? They want to Google and they mm-hmm. want to start searching everybody. When I say, no, it was when they started airing our shows again. No one, for, I was about to say, no one forgot about all that. That's what it was. Un- all that is an unforgettable, like well, no, I they always- didn't forget about the show, but they forgot they about some cast, of us. The characters. Unless oh. you were Kelly oh. Keenan yep. or oh. Lori oh. Beth. You know, those wait, were the uh, main ones. Wait, who, uh, what's the, the white girl name? Because she, I think she- Amanda You're thinking Bynes about Amanda, but Amanda came ones? after me. And the later ones, she was like in the next, you. God yeah. damn Yeah Amanda came after me Y'all so had motherfuckers In and out That turnover rate yeah. I mean you <laughs> grow up After, after I was be. gone That turnout The turnover rate Was like crazy I, I was people. like whoa okay, 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 Yeah okay, so okay. Amanda was after So from the original cast The main ones That everybody was remembering Because remember Lori Beth was on The Steve Harvey show mm-hmm. She went and did right, other right, things right. Kel and Keenan Were Kel and Keenan yeah, mm-hmm. right. Josh was still doing cool But you kind of like Forgot about yeah. You know right, the, right, the other right. ones And um, so when they aired That's when it went When they came back Because everybody Had black TV They were trying to get All that back When the minute That first episode aired It went bananas Our Twitters All froze right. out All of a sudden The followers That's all And we were Wow like, oh, Jesus What is going right. on yeah, You were like Whoa <laughs> shit Oh, fucking dad? Did I die? Not now. That's crazy. Right. <laughs> our phones froze. Like we had never. It was like, and it, it did that for like all night. Like all of our, and we were just like, what the fuck just happened? Wow. Damn. And wow. you like don't even know that this right. shit. Damn. And that's when it, it started kicking in. People talking about what we did for them, and that we were legends, and we were just like, what? Like mm-hmm. what? Because yeah. you had to remember, we came from an era there was no social media. We were getting Boy. fan mail, yeah, right, not right, emails. Right. <laughs> Literal <laughs> fan Sending mail. Trailers opening. Right, opening up mm-hmm. letters, don't forget dirty trailer full of envelopes. And back and then, we weren't even getting it. The networks were getting it, or so the then, agents. Oh, so we um, knew about the letters, yeah, but you, they, and they probably didn't do nothing. And those with pictures, it. I hate to bust it out to everyone, but we wasn't signing them. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, that was had, wow. Them, you know, that's crazy. Unless you right there, you that wasn't person there. ain't signing it. That was probably the assistant or something, the mm-hmm. opener. Mm-hmm. Damn, yep. <laughs> that's crazy. Watch somebody out there is mad. Like, damn it, I thought this was autograph. <laughs> Damn, y'all wasn't saying. Well, no, they couldn't have y'all say. Y'all probably didn't know how to not write. Not all those. Yeah, well, not, not, not that many because I saw somebody post something. They was just like from that era and they was like, oh, this was all. I'm like, that is not my signature. Wow, uh, <laughs> they had to like. I've damn. seen it. I've seen it happen. It's so funny. It's so funny. Like, because like, I, that's, uh, one time the shade room had post something about Harbaugh. And literally, I, I I probably had like like forty new people. I'm like, why the fuck is these motherfuckers? <laughs> like, who are these people? You? I damn them. I was like, who the fuck are these people? And then I slide and I see the post. I'm like, damn. Right. I'm like, and in my head, I'm like, y'all niggas still remember that shit? You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm thinking like, well, also an unforgettable. I'm like, yeah. y'all motherfuckers be remembering this shit. So it's like, right. it's so interesting. Like, if fucking social media was out at that fucking time, like. 
Boy, like that would have been <laughs> like motherfuckers probably would have been co kids by by fifteen. Yo, uh, <laughs> there would have been so many erect uh, friendships and careers, and oh, just because I mean, there was always behind the scenes of any show. Yeah, it just but, wasn't captured on. Oh shit, I mean, right. motherfuckers would have been exposed so. Yeah, because I mean, we definitely had some behind the scenes. I mean, good and bad. So just yeah. imagine, like, mm-hmm. and you if you had the the tippers back then, you know, <laughs> yeah. who would have been snitching the pictures that would have. And you know all of it. Oh, shade room was out back then. Motherfuckers oh couldn't even God. shit right. Like it would have been a wrap. Motherfucker, you looking at toilet? Oh. God like damn it! Can said. I? We go with the camera doing in there. God damn it! Get the fuck out of here. Like, they would have killed off a lot of people, boy. Damn. That's, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So yes. Yeah. I like that part. You know what I'm saying? That's how you I, had, I had one more. Just you had one more spiel because I wanted to get into. Well, I just had a question. Um, I said how long you had did one you? One more question. You said spiel. Same thing, ain't it? Mm. <laughs> it's like a question Anyway, how long did you work on the show? How, um, I was on the show for okay. I was on the show for two seasons. Technically, I got <laughs> hired when I was twelve, so that was in ninety two. They didn't start airing the show I think until ninety four, ninety five, or something. Uh, That's where that confusion comes where people are like, "Oh, she was she was only no." I was there for longer because I I there was a whole process. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. did the pilot, which a lot of people yeah. did, forgot the pilot, and then and then you filmed. start the show. So yeah, it was like a good four years. I was actually there, but technically I was there for two seasons. Wow. So your whole wait, so y'all didn't get picked up until or y'all, like y'all had shot it and y'all was yeah, like, we had, like so, getting it sent it out the station like so, shows so get. the whole process was the whole auditioning because you know well I think ours was probably a little bit longer because we went months it was mm-hmm. to the point where we thought we didn't well I know I didn't think I had it because we right. were like good no I, I, I know the thing is I yeah. know how it is back right. then because like I tell people on our audition for Hardball like I did that at 12 they didn't call me back till I was 14 oh so y'all was two years yeah like See? I didn't know until I was going into high school they was like yeah you gotta move I said wait Y'all still do that shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you was oh y'all was worse than us then. Okay, we were still in the one year, uh-huh. and um, but I was that was ninety two, and then they flew us immediately. They flew, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> and we did the pilot, mm-hmm. and it was within a month, I think a month or two months. We then discovered that it went, mm-hmm. and then we immediately came back and did the season. But because of how it was stretched out, that's how it pushed the amount of years I was actually there. Like I had my thirteenth birthday there. Yeah, Ooh, that's damn. why it seems like so many people grow up so quickly in the media, not realizing like how fast. Yeah, and then, time kind of like goes. Like, weren't you just in that movie like as a five year old, right. and now you're like sixteen? No, because the the people don't but, like, understand. It like, takes the time for production. Right. Yeah, no, so. people really don't understand. Like, you can audition like for films and shit. They do this shit so far ahead of time, right? And then it's like they go through depending on what they're trying to look for as far mm-hmm. as for actors for roles and stuff like right. that. And then it's depending on where they're trying to get what mm-hmm. production, get it took, what uh, what uh, uh, company's gonna take it, what uh, like sh- TV station, all, that. all uh, anything like that. So they shipping it to those people, yeah. and they got to see what commercial brands gonna like. All right, we'll mm-hmm. take it, stuff like like it can it can it, take years, or even right. just editing. Yeah, and, right. and everything. The, and so I mean, then, by the time you, itself. by the time you, they come out, right? You damn near, you didn't fucking, you didn't. Do, I've been waiting three <laughs> years for Avatar two. So I mean, right. I mean, so right. like that process is that mm-hmm. people, but really most never people understand. don't. I mean, unless you're in the business, most people don't. Yeah, they'd be know. like, damn, you ain't, damn, you ain't done nothing in about man. forty years. Like, man, you right. really know what a motherfucking niggas what just don't doing. want that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I have a movie that's getting ready to hit. I just found out it's getting ready to hit the film festival. I forgot about it, and I shot that like. Six years ago. See, and like, then my son, he just shot something two years ago. It's going to be crazy when they finally release it because he's he, he, he going to be probably like 18 by then. Like, <laughs> no, that, 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 they, they say it's like a hurry up and wait. That yeah. shit is no fucking lie. Right. Like, sure is. Ridiculous. But to get into the topic for today for the couch, that was a very, I can put all that information though. That was pretty, yeah. damn, 12? I could have sworn, damn, that is. I did not know like at 12. Right. Well, I was I tw- in the industry at nine months old. Oh, okay. so yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. Nigga, you, give, you cutting off 11 and a half years and the motherfucker was already feet was wetting this guy down. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry. I apologize for shorthanding you and your career. 20 plus luxurious years right, in the right. industry. Okay. We're going to find, Miss C going to buy you a plaque because I can't afford it. We're going to give you your due. Okay. For sure. For sure. But for sure. what you looking at? Oh, that was him. My bad. I ain't want to see. Uh-uh. <laughs> it was this. <laughs> no, I know, uh. I know. Oh, look, I'm up being nosy. So <laughs> today on the couch, mm-hmm. we need to talk about what we're gonna get into the execution of Miss Gail King. Mm. The execution of Gail King. 
Mm-hmm. I'll repeat the execution of Gail King. So to get a quick synopsis, no, first of all, I would like to pay our respects to the late, great Kobe Bryant. Um, yes, sir. Passed away a few weeks ago. Uh, mm. Horrible crash, uh, along with his daughter and others that were on that helicopter. Mm-hmm. Um I'm, I'm, it's been weeks But I swear to God To this day It's still pretty raw It's raw as fuck. And every time I see photos I'm like ugh Like to this his, day you, His yeah. wife just uh, Posted, posted today, today. Yeah, I'm like I can't like, read this Like stuff. literally It's like, like Stop stabbing me in the heart Like literally yeah. If I still expect this motherfucker To come pop up Like no. <laughs> He was supposed to live Kobe forever Right like, In my it's, mind It's like it's, the, it's, 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 it's certain people You, you want to watch their life yeah, you know what I'm saying. And Kobe was one of them. Yeah, you uh, wanted to see his like if he daughter. was. You wanted to see his process. Like, oh man, it's Kobe last days. Like mm-hmm. you wanted to be a part. Let's go see him. Like you wanted to give his his flowers. Why he, he was, was going, the ear. not yeah. just damn you gone. Like wait 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. On, nigga. It's like you want to go to this nigga house, ring the doorbell. Hey man, stop playing. Nigga, Nobody you, was ready, and like, that's what made it worse. And yeah, daughter. Like, what? Yeah, and his daughter, yeah. and it's like Ugh. because it was. It was ridiculous. I, I'm like, I'm paying my respect. You, you, you could call whatever you want to call me. You can beat my ass right now, and I will still say he's not gone. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it's, it's not sinking in. And now, oh. with death, with me, with it just takes a time for me because I'm big on like the spirit and the energy of people. Yeah, and, like his energy and spirit was so big and was so magnifying. It's like. Mm-hmm. I probably won't believe it until I die. Right. Well, <laughs> it was crazy because me and Kel, we go to the same church. And I literally was like, we, me and Kel, we were like, all right, peace out. And I was walking out. And as I get into the car, uh, the driver was just like, Kobe just died. I was like, I'm sorry, what? Like, you know, I just finished mm. praising God. Like, hallelujah. All right, see you guys next Sunday. And like, literally, it was like Kobe died. And, and I remember what even made it even more devastating. I, I was like, I started just crying. You would have like felt like I like I knew him, like I had just met him or whatever. And I remember saying, Well, at least his daughter wasn't with him because she's always on the helicopter with mm-hmm. him. Then an hour later, like the daughter, I was just like, I, f- I felt like that was my kid. I was just like, what is going on? Because it was just un- it was unreal. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, you know? it was really, really shocking. And it's like, I'm and like, then his wait, daughter, what? Because yeah. at least she would have carried it on. Right, right. And then as a mother, because mm-hmm. I have two kids. It hit either a mother and someone who actually loves someone. Like, I cannot even imagine. Here's your best friend, your husband, your partner, your everything, the father of your kids, and you just had one, another one, Mm. and he's gone, and then your child at the same time that is like his twin. Mm -hmm. That's, (laughs) like... Again, I... (laughs) When I found out, like, again, I take... It was just like, you can't tell me that just happened. Like, right, I, it's I, unreal. It was like uh, I like, thought he was gonna hop from the helicopter. Like I'm like, like cause up? like he was just that. So he right. like, y'all motherfuckers really thought the being on that. Like I was <laughs> you know, waiting mama. for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it, I don't want to get too deep in, yeah. into it. Like much respects, rest in peace, Kobe, mm-hmm. Gigi, and all of those that was in that accident. Mm-hmm. Um, Eight <sighs> seconds of silence. That was nine. That was eight. <laughs> you clearly put up the whole well, the fourth finger like a... Yeah, I said one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what I did. Oh, oh yeah. All right, we're going to let you slap. All right. He deserved it, though. He deserved it, though. He, deserved he, it, he get that extra, he get that <laughs> extra nine. I'm going to let that slap. But the execution of Gail King that go, mm. goes with it is... <laughs> so she had an interview with Lisa mm-hmm. Leslie uh, talking about uh, Kobe mm-hmm. and his passing and brought up the infamous rape case, which out of nowhere, particularly white people, from what I can tell, especially mm-hmm. off Twitter, decide to bring up about Kobe. If you don't know, 2003, he was accused of raping a white girl in Colorado. Mm-hmm. So the case was dismissed. The girl didn't. Because she didn't want to testify. She didn't want to testify. Because she had several got... semens in her. <laughs> <laughs> it was thrown away. And so basically he was cleared. And... He passes away, and all of a sudden, it's good riddance of a rapist and all of this other unnecessary bullshit on a man who's passed away. And fast forward to Gail King going to Lisa, uh, interview on Lisa Leslie, and she brings it up. Now, I don't know if y'all saw the interview. I mm-hmm. saw the interview. You watched the whole thing? I watched the whole interview. And... <sighs> Before you get in it, what do you think about her response to it when she said... <sighs> 
it was taken out of context. Mm-hmm. I asked him a range of things, and this was just one little thing that everyone um, takes out of context. I was enraged too. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Give or take a few words, but that's basically what she said. Uh, okay. When I seen it and her reply back, one of the things is when it comes to media, a lot of times you ain't got no say. So the 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 the, the media, the, the the station gonna really tell you what they want to try to get, depending on your years of experience in there and mm-hmm. how much that control they want to give you of the interview. And I think Gail King has had much much experience in the industry where they can give her control of that interview as far as question wise and information. So mm-hmm. and so. Seeing her reply and seeing the question and interview, I felt that the question was very was asked in a very in a in a very bad way, and her and Lisa Leslie's response was so beautiful to it. Right. Mm-hmm. But the one thing that got me, which I was like, "This is where you fucked up, Gail," was when she, I think Lisa was explaining, uh. Like people bringing it up and and, mm-hmm. and, and and whole situation, and Gail makes a statement about well, it's like she's trying to clarify what Lisa was saying. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, it was like a, well, I actually type of thing. So mm-hmm. it's like Lisa gives her answer. It's like Gail could be like, okay, I get it, let's change. But she's like, well, actually, mm-hmm. the case was dismissed, and because the girl didn't want to speak, and, that you know. And so once she did that, that's when yep. I was like, okay, this is where you went wrong, Gail, because yep. I can get okay, it's out there, and. And honestly, if you wanted to bring that question up, I felt you would bring that question up in a matter of do you do you feel it is very disrespectful that people are bringing up an old case that is degrading the legacy of Kobe? Like, right, get it if you really right. need get it to where it's 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 being asked uh, in a in a manner of why is it being done being done because to your friend and what is your take from it? Right, but you don't have to say well. But this is this and this and this Actually. from the extra shit when when she asked it because then I'm almost like all right now you now, now you, you now you really now you been fucked up because now you now way. you trying to rub, yeah, rub me the wrong because I'm like now you trying to give give mm-hmm. reason to these people bringing this shit up right. you know what I'm saying and why she was why it was dismissed yeah and then another thing she was like because because then Lisa makes a statement as oh well you know I know Kobe he wouldn't do nothing it's like well. He wouldn't do something around you like that. Right. He wouldn't. He will act different around you like, right. like that. And I'm like, damn, bitch, you really going this way? Right. And like, she said, oh, well, well maybe outrage. that's true, but yeah, I know like, what yeah, I know. I just feel like, yeah, it was very pushy, which, you know, people do in interviews, but I feel like it was tasteless. I just feel like this, and this may be... Cliche. I just don't be feeling like black people need to do each other. Like we be the only, we don't be the only ones, but we do it a lot. And I personally don't believe Kobe raped anybody. If he's guilty of anything, it's adultery, which mm-hmm. is consensual, right? Um, and you know, in that industry, a, a lot of times, you know, they always say believe women, which we should. But mm-hmm. I do also think that a lot of times we should believe men too. Mm-hmm. But that's. I'm only saying that to say. Um, it was also bad timing. Um, he's been alive this whole time and it could have been rehashed. Um, but I think it's also sensationalism. You know, that's what mm-hmm. these news, you know, outlets and, you know, it's sensationalism, like capitalizing on death. And I don't think she, I didn't think my, not to cut you off, we'll let mm-hmm. you go. I don't think she was really hidden for sensationalism. Uh, sens- whatever the fuck word you just said, I can't say <laughs> this shit. It was just... It's no, it's like when black people get to that certain point where they're around the white people mm-hmm. and that type of they forget the black people, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? The black life, you know what I'm saying? Being around black people. And I hate to say that, but it's it's like that sometimes. It's you true. Get no, right. it's people get true. far removed and, so, and just and forget why, where they came yeah, from. And that's why I feel like the way she was responding back to Lisa's answers was so tasteless. It was like, now you're 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 you're, you're them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You're doing, you're being too professional. You know what I'm saying? Because, yes, Kobe, with all the details, I honestly don't believe he raped the girl. I believe it was a consensual thing. And then they was like, wait, you, hey, you can, let's get something like this. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to get too. He said no. He probably said no to something. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I, to me, right. I don't like to, I, I don't want to get too with the rape, but it was like, I don't believe Kobe were raped. Like, he might be asked to, you know what I'm saying? And was like, you know what? Yeah, this and that. And so like that. And they did it. 
and since she probably felt bad, but when it comes to see. rape, when you say rape, that is see. a strong, strong word. And this is about rape. See, I can speak on rape because I was raped before. And if you're raped, you're not going to find seven semens in you. The, the mentality is completely different. You're not going to go out and then fuck seven other men or whatever number he was. You're, you're either going to go into a shell mm-hmm. or, or something. You're just not going to continue to still be out there and be like, hey, like what they said. That mm-hmm. was why it ended up being dismissed because they could not hold it up in court. Because if you're raped, it's just, it just ends up being a completely different mentality. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You're going to want to immediately wash off because you feel dirty. You feel nasty. You, you might go to the hospital. You might not. So it's like, it's, com- it's complete bullshit. But, but like I said, I believe that there was definitely adultery, mm. you know, and don't none of you motherfuckers <laughs> come on my page talking about no me too shit because I'm just <laughs> going to go ahead and put it out there right now. Because even in her situation, which I agree with you about, um, you know, that the, as black people, we're supposed to at least have each other's back because in a society where we're already being attacked by other races, we don't need to be doing it ourselves. And then it gets even deeper because as the black woman, we were supposed to be there to protect the black man. Now, I feel like she got comfortable because when she, her, and I say her and, you know, her, her friend, mm-hmm. when they did Oprah, nobody said nothing. I mean, when they did Oprah, when they did Bill Cosby, nobody said anything. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody was like, hee hee hee, and they had all them jokes. Then um, I'm not really going to say too much about R. Kelly because I think we're all in agreement with the whole R. Kelly shit. <laughs> like nobody really gave a crap about that situation. But then nobody really knows about um, the Russell Simmons situation that much so nobody has really spoken on it. Mm. But they've been doing this. This is a routine. So she thought it was comfortable. She didn't think Snoop was going to be like, you go, oh, woo, woo, woo. She, so she, they were surprised, but that's it's almost, why they be far removed. Not right. knowing, like, do y'all not realize, like, y'all are digging y'all own graves? Like, are y'all that far right. up the totem pole or down the totem pole? Because they say the, the ones at the bottom are the most. Right, yeah. Or whatever. Are y'all that far removed to where y'all can't see context and y'all What's can't see on? tact? And Because she could have asked these Anything. questions regarding rape or whatever mm-hmm. if she must. And done it completely differently, differently yeah. in a way that was not disrespectful, a little bit more tasteful, and you know, no, and didn't like basically like disregard his family and and how they're and mourning and like it's just you're cl- like who's paying you? It's like who's paying you? But also, how much of this is sad? Is are you satisfied with doing? Like, are you satisfied mm-hmm. with yourself for doing this? And that's why I say it's certain reporters that certain uh, uh, TV stations, they give control to for interviews. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like if it's a Barbara Walters or mm-hmm. uh, um, who, yeah, this, those I know names. Trying, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, but you know like, yeah, saying? even and, like the uh, talk, Andy, how they do, yeah. how they, yeah. Andy. They have, they give them that freedom of control because they've been in doing this for years. They've exactly. Interviewed, they've interviewed so many important people at certain times. It's like they can control the room. Right. So I honestly feel that she had control of that conversation she for did. the most part and of that room. And again, the converse, the statement should have been more in the it more in why in getting Lisa's uh, uh answer on is it necessary people are doing this? If right. anything, because that's her, it, her and Kobe were very good friends. Is it necessary people are bringing this up? Who yeah. else brought it up besides Gail? Because that's the only time I ever heard it. Oh, oh no, 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 they no, no, were. No, no. Yeah. The only were reason she up? brought it up yeah. is because oh, Twitter, all oh, these yeah. white women. Oh, so then yeah, so you didn't. Yeah, all she had to do was ask like, how do you feel about these people bringing it up? and left it there. But you, you joined the white legion. She. That's exactly what because it was a white teacher. It was a. It was a white something that happened. There was a white reporter. Oh, there's people that have gotten in trouble, but she was the one that got executed. Like, because you didn't even you didn't even know that there was other people that said it. Like, yeah, it was happening, and it still happened after she got executed. And my thing is, <laughs> I, I I I don't even care about the way. Honestly, they they just ready right, to jump and say time. anything to destroy a black person. So, but again, like you made the statement mm-hmm. as far as when it comes to black people, it's a certain way I feel when it comes to defense of us, and mm-hmm. when we're in a certain light. We need to clean that shit up if we got a chance to. And I feel like this was a chance to be cleaned up mm-hmm. where, like Lisa's response, banger. And that's what Gail should have been like. 
that is, I totally understand. Or like, that is a very good yeah, answer. Nah, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, if you see the interview, that's how quick where brother was yeah, like, well, was, actually, this is what happened. Right. So this was that. Well, he he could be different around you, Lisa. It's like, it's like you trying to figure out a way to bring this controversy to it. And it's like, no, take that answer. Move on. If you wanted to bring up the fact that these people are bringing that rape case right. up. There was this black reporter, this female, and she kind of said it best. I saw it on Instagram the other day. And she said it best. She said there's, there's really more to this and people just aren't ready to have that conversation. But I she think said, I know what clip you're talking about. Where yeah, she yeah, was like, like, it's really yeah. a black I man think, that yeah. got away with, quote, quote, raping or having sex with a white woman. And yeah. then the other ones are looking at uh, this white woman with this black man. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's so many hidden levels to it that nobody really wants to address. But when I said the whole, you know, the Me Too thing, like you said, you can't just believe every female. Remember I was saying about Johnny Depp? Right. So they immediately jumped on the Me Too and defended, for those that don't know, I mean, I guess I can go ahead and talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, Johnny, Johnny Depp's ex-wife, uh, she's the one that, I, I don't know her name, but she plays in Aquaman. Anyway, his career pretty yeah, much yeah. got ruined because she said that she was being abused. Everybody believed it. Mm -hmm. Um it just came out, this happened like almost two years ago. It just came out like within this last week or so that apparently she was lying because he had audio tapes and just revealed where, I guess she sliced off his finger, which I didn't know. She crapped in his bed. She had been uh, beating him. She throat. was crazy. Yeah. And the thing was, he goes, but you were hitting me. And she's actually arguing in the thing like, so pretty much in so many words, these weren't the technical words, but so what if I'm hitting you? So what if I'm being physical? You aren't supposed to walk away. That was the equivalent no, of what she said. No. But she ruined his career because he got, Disney had fired him from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. The whole time, and, I thought he quit. Right, right, all the time. But the thing was, everybody jumped on the whole Me Too thing mm -hmm. because automatically it's like, believe the female, believe Especially the female. now, okay, and, and since we're there, you know, who came up with this Me Too movement? It, first of all, mm -hmm. it def definitely does not benefit black women neither does mm -hmm. this modern age feminism which white to, to answer so my much. to answer my own question white women invented this me too mm -hmm. and and if anybody if and i really hate to say this but if there's anybody that is infamous for lying mm -hmm. in history it's white people it's white right. men and white women especially Ooh. lying on black mm -hmm. men as many as many of these young black athletes that have had to go to trial. Emmett Till. Emmett Till. That was the first thing that came that, to my head, man. He's like Ooh, the poster bitch, child oh, for a white Ooh. woman lying on him, and he mm. got lynched for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he didn't even whistle at the at the name right, of lady. Right. Janice Dickerson lied about her, uh, what's Emmett. the names with um, uh, Mr. Bill Cosby. Yeah. Now, there are probably more women that tell the truth than the ones that lie. Mm-hmm. However, the ones that lie make it bad for the ones that tell the truth. And exactly. that goes for, that's across the board. Right. For, for any gender, male or female. But, um. But me too, it's definitely I, men that are getting abused and people are overlooking yeah. that too. Like, <laughs> and I honestly, I, I, mean, I, I have issues with the, with the phrase believe women. Because it's almost like. Okay, but what if they're lying though? Mm -hmm. My thing, and it is, a, and then, and then, and then on the automatic, people automatically believe when you say believe women. The equivalent to that is don't believe men, right? Which is also harmful. Like stuff like divisive things like that is harmful, mm -hmm. especially with people who don't think like modern day humanity. Mm -hmm. They're literally going to take it without dissecting it and really understanding what these things mean. Right. And see, my thing with that is, it's, it's, a, it's a double standard thing. And the only reason I usually, I usually, I, I don't want to say agree, but I'm on the, I guess, okay, for the best word I can say, on the side of a woman usually with that is because of the, the, the way men have been over a period of time Primarily white men for the most part because they've had, they controlled everything in America. And I'm not excluding black people, but mm -hmm. for the most part, white people control. Well, colonialism, not just yeah, America colonial, in the world. They, they yeah. literally rape and, and pillage so everywhere. Men basically. have always been this very dominating, polarizing figure that when they don't get their way type of thing, or they mm -hmm. just feel like they just gotta, you know what I'm saying? They do things to women. Mm -hmm. And so I always, I'm like, I, I'm listening. I'm, yeah. Let me just say, that's me. I'm listening. You should. I'm listening. Right. But and I'm tell not your brother. And just say, hey, that's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I jump to conclusion, but I'm listening because I know how men are. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Just as like, 
we're, we we we're fucking stupid at times, and we're stupid a lot of times. And when we just feel like it's a, a inferior and superior thing, when a woman be is, yeah is like supposed to be inferior to a, a man, when we get this in our mindset, and you're not trying to give me this and that, it's like oh no, you this you can't like, and we do dumb ass shit. Mm-hmm. But uh, so yeah, I I tend to listen to what this woman is saying, but I'm not excluding the fact that she might be lying. Right, and the fact that over time men have been doing this and it's been so hidden. But more and more women as time go on is starting to speak out. And it's so now it's 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 we gotta the fact that we must have this fucking juggling of like people mm-hmm. being mentally abused, basically because rape is just a strong me- abuse mentality right. and taking people's uh 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 sexually and just and destroying people in that type of manner and mentally in that manner, it's like that's what guys get. So mm-hmm. when when women do when you all like say the guy I I get it but mm-hmm. again I'm not finna just go a hundred percent. You I, that. I can't say that most guys get it because if they did we wouldn't have so many instances of rape still to right. this day. Now, great that you do that's wonderful and I hope that you know your the people who you surround yourself with feel the same way and you know things like that's how positive ideals and and, yeah. and um what do you call it? habits and stuff spread but you know we've had to backtrack we've had to go back to okay so now it's appropriate can i do this now right can I touch your shoulder but we have we've had to go back to that because for so long women weren't saying anything mm-hmm. women were not saying what bothered them because of the repercussions that happened because of oh he might fucking kill me if i tell him i don't like him to fucking touch me mm-hmm. if he's a stranger but you know like you said you know Men have always asserted their force with or without a woman's um, permission. Mm-hmm. And so, <clears throat> you know, we've had to backtrack and go back to the basics of what's appropriate because the lines have been crossed for so many years and blurred on on, on what kind of... T- and then not all women feel the same about what's appropriate and what and it isn't. Because that- especially when you're in a, a club setting and you're mm-hmm. out, you know, some girls don't give a fuck if a man is... T- tapping their ass while they mm-hmm. walk fast and some girls do not want to be touched because right. a lot of them were raped or or whatever the case may be or maybe they just like their space right. so but because of the, the the differences in what women allow because right. not every woman is the same but because of those differences we do have to keep it at a basic right. because every, if, if, if everyone is responding different then I'm just not fucking touch you if you don't ask, if you don't want me to just mm-hmm. if that's a general rule of thumb we all be good but men think that because this girl, whoever she may be, let it let me, you know. Sure, let me slap that ass. Because you, no. you know, you take a, you give a man an inch, shit, he'll bro. take it eighty billion miles. Oh, all day. Oh, you no, know what I'm saying? And so, and so, <laughs> what uh, men will do what women allow, and it's as simple as that. Yeah, definitely, it's, it's that simple, and we just allow too much sometimes, Ooh, especially if the so money right. <laughs> Oh yeah, cash, cash make that happen. You feel me? <laughs> Throw that little coin, she gonna go for the right, right boing, bag. Boing, 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 boing. The right bag. <laughs> but, uh, it's a point. Um, gross. To round it out, um, this episode. All pun. You're talking about ass. Right. Right. Ass. Anus. Round it out. <laughs> and, oh round god. It out. Wait, wait. I'm lost. I'm lost. <laughs> well, earlier, remember she was showing us the anus chocolate videos. Oh and, yeah, yeah. Y'all discussing. It. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. That wasn't my idea. <laughs> <laughs> So for Valentine's Day, <laughs> you can really tell somebody, kiss your ass. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> surround it out. <laughs> surround it out. So uh, what's funny is, so uh, so to finish off the execute, it, are we canceling Gail? I just want to answer the question. I, I'm not for cancel culture, <sighs> but I'm not, but I'm not, like I said, I don't cancel. I'm not going to, I think it's just, everything is always worth um, dissecting, mm-hmm. whether it be... Now I'm just like, I don't, I'll like, okay, I'll cancel, like, I'll stop listening to somebody's music. Mm -hmm. I I don't, I don't be up in Kale's business and she ain't never in my feed. So canceling her would kind of be null and void because I only see her. She's not relevant to me, essentially. So for me, it's kind of like, I mean, (laughs) I only disrespect, sure, but who are you in my eyes? I'm like, he don't give a fuck about Gail. Are you canceling one of your sisters, bruh? I mean, I, I, 
She needs some guidance. Right. <laughs> I don't really yeah. follow her unless somebody, they're mad about something. So I didn't, you know, I just always knew her as the best friend. Mm-hmm. Gonna, you know. That's okay. what she would be. Really should have been asking if we were canceling Snoop Dogg because that's who everybody was mad about. Oh, everybody yeah. was mad about Snoop too, yeah. yeah. And I don't even know what he said, but what did he call it? He called her all types of names? Yeah, basically, he basically killed her. And then yeah. she getting death threats and stuff. Oh, and yeah. then he did the free Bill Cosby and then oh. everybody. And Bill responded from jail. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, forgot what God. he said. Funky head, funky yeah, he was head, talking funky about bitch Gail, like, yeah, Gail did this. I remember <laughs> it was like Bill Cosby is an old ass man. He don't so, give no fucks. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna and say then, whatever he wants. And that's to. my thing, it's like once you say one thing, then you spill the tea. Oh now, wait, that's because we're we Gail did this with Kobe. Doesn't mean Bill gets a jail out of G and this and that. And it's like like honestly at the end of the day, my big thing, fucking boy, boy, white people, y'all really fucked us up, man. I had these critical I'm not saying all white people, but hey, you yes, colonize this fucking the world. The people who support the system that f- supports yeah, fucking you know us what I'm up. saying? So, right. Uh, but black people do it unbeknownst to them because oh, we sure still do. live in ignorance. But why do we live in ignorance? Because we were oppressed and you become your oppressor. Oh, oh, sister no, soldier right. coming out of Miss C, boy. She get the talking, boy. <laughs> get the talking bees, get the shaking right here. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> y'all. But I ain't go. I, I, I ain't with the canceling shit because Gail can... Honestly, she just came out with a better apology and been like, you know, I just fucked up. That, that's one thing. Just I say just you fucked, fucked up. up. Y'all. I'm that sorry. was bullshit. Yes, I could have handled that better. Don't come with this professional shit. Like, niggas gonna figure that out. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you come with them Wendy Williams bangs and you over here Ooh, talking to her. she like, did. You know, All right. Like, no, nah, sweetheart. Wendy Williams <laughs> circa 2000. Oh, gee, don't come with that bullshit. But <laughs> And don't be selective. Get everybody. Like, yeah. even the other really, white people oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, oh, yeah. that they know. I swear to God. Hugging up with the, with the white rapists. <laughs> when, when, we don't see them interviews. But see, them white rapists got way more money. So they probably paid, you know, they... They don't have to have it. Or the spiritual advisor. Her- Harvey Weinstein, mm-hmm. Ben Roethlisberger, Peyton Manning, Brett Favre. Whenever, if they pass, I don't want that. I ain't hoping that. Hall of Fame, whatever big thing happened with them, y'all better start bringing good receipts. White people, I'm talking about don't be quiet. Because a motherfucker mm-hmm. will come up in the house and open up. It's going to be drop them crickets. Receipts. Like, I want to hear everything. Chirp, you know, it's going to be crickets. Big Ben taking women in stalls and country clubs and shit like that. Like, I want to hear everything. Mm-hmm. All right? But we finna roll up out of here. Um... <laughs> I'm getting long winded. Wait, do I say that? Mm-hmm. Yes, get long winded, talking too long. That's Ooh. it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Like Thank what you. you're doing now. <laughs> Ooh, I swear to God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know why I said that. But we're going to get up out of here. I would like to thank Miss Angelique for joining us. Thank on the couch you. Today. It's a pleasure. Uh, you got anything, any new news, anything coming out you want to drop, spill? Motherfuckers, come check it out. Be. Like, oh, she was on the couch. We got to go check it yeah, out. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm I mean? Just come <laughs> view me on the couch. Uh, you hit me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that, YouTube, Angelique Bates. And um, yeah. <laughs> no, any projects coming out you want to drop out or you got NDAs? Yeah, I was saying, nothing I can really mention NDAs, right now. In the NDAs. NDAs, NDAs yeah. I got you. Not NBA, NBA. NBA. Right. Like non disclosure. Yeah. <laughs> NDA. NDA. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank I appreciate this. Appreciate you know what I'm saying? Uh, damn. I'm mm. supposed to say something. Nice. I'm going to say thank you too while he thinks about that. It was so <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, she be acting out with Gary in here. Yeah, I'm going to talk when he's doing shit. He'll never be like that. Like, that's all right. I see how it you is. You sure about that? Oh, I'm very positive. Okay. I don't know. Very we might have to rewind. Rewind <laughs> some episodes. <laughs> Nay. Uh, as always, thank you all for tuning in to this wonderful episode. <laughs> Oh, I say the dumbest shit. Thank y'all for tuning in to this wonderful episode. Make sure y'all follow us on Instagram at LFTC Podcast. Mm-hmm. On Twitter, yep. LFTC underscore podcast. Mm-hmm. Of course, make sure y'all subscribe to our channel on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Uh, what you else is that say shit? say Spotify. Oh, yeah, Spotify. Damn. Google Play, did you say that? Google, I did. No, I said SoundCloud, SoundCloud. Google. Cause Can you not be a woman and just be quiet for a minute? Not right, be a woman. Please, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all hear this? Do y'all hear how this yes. man you know what I'm saying? is speaking? I ain't got no Valentine, so I'm mad. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> or you would give that chocolate Somebody take yeah. him out Please I'm a lonely I'm out here lonely you Somebody know take saying? this man out I'm like LL I need some love man mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying But I'm made of the good stuff uh, I can't say I got the man to the right Because he ain't here Hope he having some fun But We got the lady of the couch Candace Outlander Why you look at me Woman you don't Lady of the cat Yeah you should You show. Oh look in the Oh. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, it's like, uh, we got the lady of the couch. 
Candace Outlandish. All right. We got the guests. <laughs> and we finna leave out of out of here. Yes, uh, into the camera. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. <laughs>